This is Renan from My Goody Store. Um, just a quick video on how to fill out a 940. Um, why I'm doing a video on this because I'm in a particular group um, for people who are getting EIDL and PPPs. And a lot of people didn't know how to fill this out or what it even was. I'm not sure why because this you're supposed to do this every year you fill out this form every year and of course you get this the numbers for this if you fill out your form 941 which is your um, quarterly tax employer tax so this is something you just do this once a year and the deadline is passed today's the 15th so you are already supposed to send this in but anyway, even if you haven't sent it in, you can still send it in. The only thing they're gonna um, hit you with a failure to file and failure to pay. But you can still do it. And the longer you wait, I mean, the bigger the fine, the amount that you have to pay, and the you know the penalty and the interest because they charge your pen, they charge your penalty and interest. So anyway, when you're filling this out. Um, of course, you put your employer's identification number, so we're going to use any number. It's not somebody's actual number. Fill that out. So, and then you put the name of your business. Um, let me see. Blah, new. I always like to put in capital letters. I mean, you use caps lock. New Lane Store. New Lane Store. LLC. Or if you're in court, um, INC, or whatever you are. And trade name. Let's say if you have like maybe like New Lane. Not if you have a trade name. Some people might have New Lane. I don't. I'm not sure, but. That's if you have a trade name like a DBA or something like that. Then of course you put your um, address. You know everybody use one two three Main Street, so that's what we're gonna do. One two three Main Street. And you put your zip. I'm gonna put Miami, Florida. Into one six eight. This you don't have to pay. I mean, this you don't have to fill out because you don't live in a foreign country or anything like that. Okay, so this part um, is only if it applies to you now. If you do an amended amended tax return like you had um, fill out this before and that was a mistake, then you will click that. If you took over a business, then you will click only that. And then if you made no pain, that's why it's very important with these tax returns, any tax returns that you're doing, with whether it's this federal, un, um, the unemployment, yearly tax, or your quarterly tax, your state tax, even if you don't make any payment, you are not able to make um, payroll, you still have to do it because if not, when you do eventually um, do it, um, they're going to charge you. And of course, if you close down, close like many businesses, unfortunately closed um, this um, this year and last year. So you still have to do it. Okay, so we move it on. So there you put your abbreviation for your state that you're in. I live in Florida. I will use FL. And then you leave all these stuff, unless it pertains to you. But usually a small business, like that's what I'm talking to, small business owners, that would not pertain to us. So we will leave this and you here you put total payments paid total payments paid total payments to all employees so let's use let's use a number 24,000 that's if you paid don't be putting non numbers that you didn't pay uh -uh, yourself 24,000 and it could be um, whatever it is to you uh -um, you paid and of course, remember this number would come from your quarterly. It all it has to match up. So if you did your quarterly, so 
quarter one to four, that's the number that is this, this is going to be because it's supposed to match up. And you don't want it not to match up. So um, here it says payments exempt from, you know, the unemployment tax. That um, that wouldn't pertain to you that unless, you know, you have um, payments that you don't. That I don't know exactly what it is, but let's leave that alone because when my um, CPA told me, uh, showed me how to do it, he said that didn't pertain to me. So maybe it pertained to other people, but not to me. And that's for what we're doing. And so you skip that and you skip this. And then you go, unless six would, um, unless these pertain to you, then you would um, put that in six whatever is there but then where you would go is here to line seven and that's when you put the payments that you pay to employees again and line eight is you take this number the 24,000 and you times it by 0 0.006 so let's see how much that's going to be. 24,000 times 0 0.006. And that's $144. That you have to pay unemployment tax, federal unemployment tax. And that's just a yearly thing. You just pay it once a year. But of course, it's going to vary unless you, you know, you don't, your payroll doesn't change and it's always going to be 24,000 a year or whatever then you would definitely know at least you're paying 144 dollars i say that's um that's the tax of just that's the tax that you have the that's due for this um for this return and then you skip on test days these stuff are pertaining to you like um you didn't probably didn't pay state unemployment tax then you would have to pay it here but besides that, then you skip to number 12, and then you put 144 in number 12, and then you put it again in 14, because that's how much you owe, because you owe, you're not going to get a rich money back, you have to pay, you have to pay the government, and of course, you, everything you do, you put your name again, new, I think it was new lane store, was it? Lane store LLC, I think. Let's go back. New Lane store LLC. Okay, five five one two six. You put them five five dash. Because you know it's two numbers and then dash. One two six. Oh, I made up the number. I think it's fifty seven twenty. Okay. And then it's fifty seven twenty. And then you leave these blank unless you have a tax liability it doesn't pertain to you and then you would sign your name here you would date it of course it put your name and this is very important print your title this does not you do not put that you manage i mean the manager or owner or you need a corporate title that's what goes here print your title here that's what that is what you put there your corporate title so you are either CEO, you know, all the corporate are CEO, CFO, vice president, president, you know, all them good stuff. So that's what you put here. You don't put manager, you don't put owner, you don't put business owner, you don't put the boss man or boss lady. You put your corporate title. So that's um, that's what you put there. And that's the only thing that matters unless you are um, sending the payment. Now, if you're mailing this with your payment, like a money order or a check, then of course you have to fill this out with all your information but i always do it the easy way i pay through the eftps system because i have an account and stuff like that you have to be registered um, with an account and then it goes immediately right away so as soon as you put that in if you like if you would have put you do do it in the morning and it says that you can pay okay let's say it's 216 tomorrow and then you put that you want to pay 216 trust me the irs is going to take your money on 216 whatever you put whatever date you put in that's for the eftps system 
Maybe I could do a training on that. But whatever that you choose, they take their money immediately. I mean, immediately. So that would go when you pay through the EFTPS system, you're not done. Whatever payment that is, it will go as a credit on your account. And it's when they get this, this return, which you have to uh, mail or you can e-file have it you, if you have um, access to e-file but most likely you might have to um, you might have to mail it and then of course mailing you need the instructions download the instructions you don't but for me I know exactly because I do this all the time so mines always go to Ogden Utah because I live in Florida because it's different different states um, send it to different um, places in for the IRS so this is how you fill out 940. It's very easy. It's very easy. Uh, so we have other trainings we're going to do. How to fill out the 941. How to do state unemployment tax and stuff like that. How to you know, determine those things. But this is mainly for small businesses that you can do. Um, you, could, you could train people to do it by yourself. Or you have an idea of at least. Even if you have somebody working for you. Like you know, you have a CPA. You should, you should uh, um, at least have an idea. You know, oh, oh, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. So you can see if it is there, if there's any discrepancy in your paperwork. The person is actually doing. Because I've encountered a lot of people that had so-called people doing stuff like this for them, and they were doing it incorrectly, or they were not filing them on time, and different stuff like that. Me, I do my stuff by myself because I'm a math. I love to do math stuff, so, you know, I do my things and I save the money, so I don't have to be paying for somebody something that I know how to do. So, this was just a quick video. Um, if you liked it, um, the video and you'd like to see more like this, leave a comment down below. I will see you in another video. Bye!